Hey everybody, how are you guys? I hope you guys are good. Hope you're having a good day. Alright, so I want to take a minute and talk about, so I watched Happy Shiny People on Amazon Prime. Um, it's about the Duggars, the Duggar family. It's about their IBLP religion that they were raised in. In and that they raise their children in. And, you know, what's crazy is I used to watch that show. When I was, like, 15, I found it fascinating. I'm like, this lady has, you know, all of these children. I'm like, they're so well-behaved. Because they had that reality TV show. I'm like, they're so well-behaved. Um, like, there's no fighting. There's no you know, no rebellion, there's no, nothing, but at the same time, you know, it was weird to me, they were weird people, because, because of the life that they lived, because of how their kids didn't act at all, like other kids, well, and then you grow up, and you realize that, well, guess what, reality's not reality, their oldest son had actually, was a molester, who had, a, you know, done things to his sisters as well as other girls when he was younger <coughs> and you know the you know the parents protected the son and to me it felt like okay well our daughter's feelings don't matter you know it we're gonna protect our son because that's what matters and what he did to his sisters what they went through their pain and suffering we're, we're just going to forget all that even happened. And that to me is insane. You know, I think a lot of people take religion, which, you know, it means so many different things to so many different people. But I think that, you know, a lot of the times, unfortunately, people take religion and they use that religion to push fear into other individuals, whether it be their children, whether it be their friends and family, whether it be whoever. You know, they, once they get this, they're brainwashed into these different religions, right? Then they use whatever comes with that fear, authority. Um, you know, they use God to push their agendas and their beliefs. You know, they, they, they claim to be under God's umbrella with this religion and they sin under that umbrella but but act like they didn't you know act like it never even happened or or it happened because you know this is this is my will right this is what God wants me to do which I think is crazy you know one of these nut job moms in this video <coughs> who followed this IBLP which is the Institute um, bel oh crap, now I can't remember what it stands for, but I'll, I'll think of it in a second. Oh, Institute of Basic Life Practice, or, or something like that it is. But anyway, there was this one mom on there, and she's like, my 14-month-old son, you know, he was, he was just shaming his mother, and I didn't know what to do with him. And so I just spanked and spanked and spanked him all day long. And, it, it, yeah, 14 months old. You know, they, they try to train these babies. They, they basically beat it out of them. They use something called the blanket system. And, or blanket training. I'm sorry. That's what they call it. And they start you out when you're like six months old on this blanket. And they put something you really want. Like whether it be a toy or a food or something that you really want. They'll put it on the outside of the blanket. Now, every time you go for that, they would they would hit you, smack you, you know, until you learned not to go reach for that again. And I mean, you got to think that they're doing this to kids when they're six months old and up. And then on top of that, if you think about like this 19 kids and counting, like the Duggar family, so they had all these kids, and then as the mom is having these younger kids. All her older kids are having to take care of them. So you got kids that are like 10, 11 that are raising, literally, staying up late at night, 
getting up in the morning, taking care of this baby. You're 10 years old, and you're over here taking care of a baby like it's your baby, like you're the mother. It's, it's so crazy. Um, like, when did they get to be kids, you know? But I, I think, you know, I, I was raised, um, Christian, Protestant, though, okay? So, we'd go to church every Sunday, um, you know, we, we, I, I believe in the, the Christian morals and values. However, I would ne never take it to an extreme like a lot of these people do. And I, like I said, I think a lot of people twist religion to their benefit or to, to suit them. To, tr to, uh, try to, like I said, basically take religion, go under the umbrella of God, and then twist it to something that it was never meant to be. And I, I think a lot of um, religions do that, and, and they instill fear in their ministry. You know, fear of, you will go to hell if you do this, if you wear that dress, if you you know, put that makeup on. If you have a drink of that, you will burn in hell for all of eternity. And, you know, that fear, when it's instilled in you in such a young age, I, you know, I don't really think that's fair. I think, and again, this is just my opinion, I would never do that or, or, or push that onto my children, right? Like, yes, I have my Christian beliefs, my morals, you know, my values. Like, I believe in God. I, I don't think you should go out and intentionally hurt other people. I don't think you should lie for, you know, no reason. I don't think you should take another person's life. Um, however, I mean, I also believe that there are exemptions to every rule. Right? And... You know, when I say that, I'm talking, like, as self-defense. You know, if you accidentally take somebody else's life in self-defense, then, you know, I don't believe you're going to go to hell for that. I don't believe that you intentionally sin because you did not intentionally take someone's life. You know what I mean? Um, but I, I... I'm sitting here, and I, I was watching this, and I'm amazed that so many people got sucked in and especially parents so many mothers got sucked into this and you know like this your kids have to obey like you have to obey me I am your authority you know um, you have to do exactly what I say you never talk back to me I mean and the, it, they're talking about beating their kids with rods and sticks and switches and you know, basically beating the rebellion out of them. And I just think that's so crazy because I remember watching this family on TV, like I said, and they were like the perfect family, right? And then you grow up and I said, you realize that reality TV isn't necessarily real. Like you grow up and you realize, okay, reality TV, there's nothing real about it, right? It's all scripted. It's all fake. You know, it's, it's just, it's craziness. But there are still families that do follow these religions. There are still families that believe in this and, and teach their children this and push this idea and, you know, onto their children, which is just bizarre to me. But, um, when you can take somebody that is obviously very sick in the head and at 15 years old and is doing things to his younger sisters and you want to protect that child. There's something wrong with you. Like, what did you teach that child? Like, what happened to your godly teaching? It was obviously missed on that child, right? So, what happened there? And then, you're protecting him, and you're not protecting your, young, your daughters, who this happened to, who are the victims in this case, and you're teaching them that women don't really matter. You're teaching them that... You know, men have the right to do whatever they want to women, and you just shut up about it because you don't want to air your dirty laundry in public. 
You don't want people to know. You know, you don't want to shame your brother. And it's just so bizarre to me that, you know, that they had so much influence over so many families and so many people. <clears throat> it's just crazy. But I just wanted to give you those thoughts. Let me hear what you think down in the comments below. I love you guys. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Keep asking those hard questions. Keep spreading that light. If you have not checked out Happy Shiny People on Amazon Prime, check it out. It's a it's a documentary series. It's a limited series. Um, it's just insane to me what how these people live and and what they did to their kids and how much trauma and damage they actually caused. I mean, you know, you hear about Scientology and and religions like IBLP that literally just traumatize kids and do so much damage that when they get out they're not stable individuals like they're 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 so off but anyway let me hear your thoughts down in the comments below i love you guys please hit the, uh that thumbs up please sub to the channel if you want to become a member of the family links are down in the description below also if you want to donate the links are in the description below have a good day everybody